John 10:10. 10, 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Have it abundantly. So we all look to God in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we as your church have gathered here this moment and we believe that Lord you are in our midst. And so we pray that you speak to each one of us. The Lord, as I stand here to speak your words, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. I have entitled today's sermon as The Thief and I. And one clarification here is that the I here in the topic is not about me. It has nothing to do with me. Okay, it's not about me. It's not about my story. But it is about the I that we find in verse 10 itself. And so in the topic, clearly there are two parts. One is the thief and the other one is the I. And so shall we look at the first part, the thief, the thief. The Bible says, as we have read, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And he started this work, you know, long time back. And we come across this right in the beginning of our scripture, Genesis. <clears throat> and describing about this incident of thief coming and stealing and killing and destroying, John Milton. Uh, describes it very beautifully in his Paradise Lost. And let us see how he describes it. So, Satan was already uh, thrown out of heaven. And he's been casted down to hell. And then Satan travels from hell up to this upper world at night. And then he comes across earth. And then when he sees this earth, it was so beautiful. And he said, the earth is just like heaven if it is not better so beautiful and it says that this earth is at the center of the universe and then all the heavenly bodies are surrounding it shining their lights in order to make this earth more beautiful <clears throat> he saw the plants and animals beautiful mountains and valleys of um, um, forests and seashores and then <clears throat> He really wanted to come inside and then enjoy this beautiful creation of God. But then he was not allowed to do so. And what is more painful for Satan was that God has created this human being out of dirt and then made him as the in charge of this magnificent, beautiful world. <coughs> and then, you know, Satan, as an angel higher than the, this a creature who were made out of dirt, he is not able to enjoy even a small part of it. Well, then this creature made out of dirt is now over this beautiful world. So it was so painful and so humiliating for Satan. And he said, okay, I'm in a miserable condition now, but I'm not looking for any relief from my misery. I just want to make everybody else as miserable as I am, he said. And that will be my only relief. And so he said, okay, I will destroy this man and I will destroy this world too because it is only made for him. And so he slipped into a sleeping snake because he's not able to come inside as, you know, uh, Satan. So he slipped into a sleeping snake and then he entered and tempted Eve. He said, Eve, you eat this fruit. Just summarize it. You eat this fruit. Because if you eat this fruit, you will become like God. And then Adam and Eve listened to the lies of this thief. They ate the fruit and we know what happened. We know what happened. You see, we need to recall here that Satan was thrown out of heaven because he also wanted and tried to be like God, to become like God. Uh, if we turn to Isaiah 14, uh, verse 14, he, Satan said in his heart, 
I will make myself like the most high. I will make myself like the most high. He tried to become like the most high and he was out of heaven. Now, Satan is trying the same thing to these human beings. I was run out of heaven because I wanted to, I tried to become like God. So you also try to become like God and see what happens. And they tried this Satan's mantra and it worked perfectly well for them as well. They listened to him, they ate the fruit, trying to become like God and they were out of the garden. <clears throat> and along with that, you know, their joy, happiness, the innocence were all gone. Death entered God's creation and relationships were destroyed. Relationships between the divine and human, between human and human and human and the rest of the creation. Remember, you know, Satan's intention was to make everybody as miserable as he, was, he is, right? To make everybody as miserable as he is. And his best man's mantra to achieve that is to replace God with anything else in our life. When Satan does, does what Satan does to steal, kill, and destroy? Destroy us, destroy our future, and destroy our relationships is by pushing God away from his rightful place in our life. Recently, I came across, um, in a newspaper, I came across um, uh, a, a, a very short news about a man you know, who killed his wife just because he refused to serve him dinner. Just imagine, you know, how sad it is that we can take someone's life just at the slightest provocation. If you hurt my ego, gone. I don't care anything. I don't care about your life. What I care is about me, about myself, and about my ego. That's, that's all. And where does this kind of nature come from? From where? Again, if you see Isaiah 14, 13 and 14, in, the, in those two verses, you will find Satan saying, I will, I will, five times. I will, I will. You know, it's all about him. It's all about him. And that is the source of what is happening today. When we replace God with ourselves, when everything about when everything is about me, about myself, my ego, we become miserable people. Because that is the intention of Satan. And we become destructive, not just to ourselves, but also to people around us whom we love, we become destructive. You know, many young people today are addicted to so many things, games of different kinds. YouTube, Facebook and whatnot. You see, you keep um, playing your game even in toilet. You keep, uh, you keep your phone scrolling up and down even while you eat your food. And some people even come to church and then they keep checking their uh, Facebook news feed without worshipping God. Because of your addiction, whatever that addiction may be, you know, you are um, wasting your time, you are not able to give time to uh, your studies, and you fail in your responsibilities, and that is nothing but destroying your future. Destroying your own future. And not only that, it is also destroying relationships. You know, it is possible that two, person, two persons are sitting together or are so close to one another physically, but there can be a big gap between them, a big wall between them, mentally, psychologically, and emotionally. If we replace God with anything else, be it games, be it social media, different kinds of gadgets, we will see that our life is falling apart. Our studies, our careers, our relationships. I know a person who is into business. And then the person 
goes out from home early in the morning, then he will come, uh, he'll come back only late in the afternoon after it is dark. And usually for, um, uh, for six weeks, uh, sorry, six days in a week, six days in a week, most of the time. And then um, the children would be told, see, I'm working so hard in order uh, that I'll be able to provide good education for you, so that I'll be able to provide good life for you, you know. But in, in the process, there is no, 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 no time for the family, no time to be spent with the children. And we can see that, I can see that there is no peace in the family and the relationships are somewhat strained. See, when God is out of the picture of what we do, when our work, our profession is all about money, family, our own identity, our own name, then even our work, even our profession can become um, the work of Satan, the work of Satan. Yes, the thief can use our work, our profession to bring destruction and brokenness in our life, in our family. What I'm trying to say is that the thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy. And he does this by replacing God with something else in our life, with different kinds of idols, whatever that, that may be, different for different people. But that is how he does. That is how he does. That is how he brings destruction, death into our life.